something major going on in Yellowstone right now. It seems like this should be the breaking news all over the mainstream media at this point because there seems to be something massive happening underneath Yellowstone, which is known to be the Super Volcano. Now, for those of you guys who are not aware of what the Super Volcano means, well, basically, Super Volcanoes are like the most dangerous disasters that you can ever get to witness in the history of mankind. And the reason why is because once this volcano erupts, it could basically destroy entire Earth. The of this super volcano's eruption will basically freeze the entire planet. Well, I know you might be wondering, how does a volcano eruption freeze an entire Earth? Isn't a volcanic eruption supposed to like increase the global warming or whatsoever? Now, that is also the same question which I ended up asking ChatGPT. And the answer that I received is that when a super volcano like Yellowstone erupts, it basically blasts tons and tons of ashes into the sky. And these ashes, they contain sulfur gas which are going to be filled throughout the entire Earth's atmosphere. Now, these gases are basically going to turn into aerosols, which are like basic tiny particles. And these particles will completely just block off the sunlight from reaching the Earth's surface, which will eventually lead to less sunlight. And less sunlight means that entire Earth will start freezing up. And the temperatures throughout the entire world, and I mean, it doesn't matter which country you live in, if it's far away from Yellowstone or not, it's still going to be affecting you because as soon Super volcano is massive that it can basically cover an entire earth once it erupts. Now we already spoke about how animals are like already starting to show signs that something terrible is going to be happening in Yellowstone because most of the animals like buffaloes, lions, bears, and all of these animals out of nowhere just started migrating out of Yellowstone for some reason. You know, even scientists could not explain as to why all the animals from the entire forest are now completely just migrating out of Yellowstone. It just seems like, you know, nature is basically communicating with these animals in such a way that we humans cannot. And I probably think that the reason why we humans cannot communicate with the nature is because of the Adam and Eve sin that happened in the Garden of Eve, where after eating the apple, we probably just got a curse where we are no longer connected to God. And not being connected to God basically means that you're not connected to his creation as well. So in that case, we probably just lost the connection between nature and ourselves and the kind of energy that we could basically communicate with, which animals, luckily, they get to sense and communicate with nature. And all of these animals, all at the same time, for some reason, they've just started telling us and giving us signs by just simply migrating out of Yellowstone from the last couple of months. And this whole thing has just started happening from the last month, where all the animals just started migrating from Yellowstone. Now, scientists were not really able to understand on why these animals are migrating out of Yellowstone, because they did not really have any sort of earthquake or any sort of volcanic eruption in indications that currently shows up in the charts. So they were really confused because it was not just one set of animal. It was basically all the animals that exist in Yellowstone that just started migrating. So there is definitely something crazy happening out there. I think you guys should actually take a look at this video right here. I got now. some bone chilling videos to share with you guys about Yellowstone. But answer me this. Is Yellowstone supposed look to look at this like stuff? It basically started boiling like these are like the volcanoes that have now started boiling up. And previously, scientists had no idea because there was no seismic activities, nothing happening in the records, at least. And they could basically see that the animals were sensing something, but then it was not on records. So they really did not have anything to suspect or whatsoever. But right now, it seems like something is moving underneath Yellowstone. It could be earthquake. It could be massive volcano that's erupting. We never know. And that's just absolutely crazy. Take a look at this, like this footage right, right now, here. All this geothermal activity, mm -hmm. is it supposed to look like this, y'all? You're going to want out. to turn the volume up for this over here. All now, right. there's this guy posting clips around Yellowstone of the ground, literally groaning, y'all. Like giant marching ants are underground, like they're coming up, y'all. Check this out. Wow. Y'all hear that? That's the sound. It literally sounds underneath. like a helicopter, y'all. Exactly. Something's boiling under there. Wow. It's a heartbeat. That's not all, y'all. He says he can feel it in his bones, in his spine. So he's probably just feeling the whole vibration of whatever is like, you know, boiling up down there. Just imagine any second if this decides to explode it's basically going to explode in such a way you just cannot even phantom on how massive this actually is 
some people watching this video, you might just be like, well, I know how volcanoes are. It sounds are. like the animals are running. And just to prove to you that it's gotten more intense over stuff. time, he puts a wow. water bottle on the grass, and this thing is jumping around like it's at a kid and play party. That's crazy, y'all. Listen. Y'all, the animals were warning us. Y'all remember mm -hmm. those eggs they found in the water near a volcano where it sounds like they hatched? But the shift is here, y'all. Let me know what you guys think about this video. Let's continue to get it. Peace out. That's crazy. Go tell my people I'm coming. Oh, definitely, man. I think, you know, you know, let me just go ahead and show you guys what this post mentions here. The things that we actually are seeing in Yellowstone that's happening is also mentioned in the actual Bible. In Job chapter 12, verse 7 to 10, uh, it actually mentions that we are supposed to ask the animals. But ask now the beasts, and they shall teach thy, and the fowls of the air, and they shall tell thy, or speak to the earth, and it shall teach thy. And the fishes of the sea shall declare unto thy, who note not in all these that the hand of the Lord hath wrought this. Now this basically means that this is basically telling us that we are just supposed to look at the animals and look at the way they're communicating with nature and also look at the fish and look at the way that they're communicating with nature they are basically connected and they are basically going to show us what the nature is trying to speak to us so that is basically why animals are in here according to the bible where we can basically look at these animals and the fishes and we can basically know what the lord is trying to communicate with now it also says that this is not a poetic metaphor this is divine instructions ask which means in hebrew to seek, inquire, consult as a prophet might. Now, I'm not even kidding. These things are literally present in the Bible. And God basically tells us that we should look up to these animals and basically get to know the information from God himself. Let me just take a look at this right here, man. This is basically what's going on in Yellowstone. A group of bears just showed up on the streets. And in an unprecedented event, thousands of bears have formed a living blockade at the entrances of Yellowstone National Park, uh, standing shoulder to shoulder and refusing to move. Now, scientists are baffled. Some believe that it's instincts and others fear that the animals are sensing something that we humans can't exactly. That's what I'm saying. And with other wildlife fleeing the park, questions arise, is a natural disaster coming? Or are the bears trying to save us? from something massive that's actually coming up. Because it definitely looks like animals are trying to give us a message to us humans. Because this doesn't look very normal to me and this is happening currently in Yellowstone. Now there's a really amazing video from Encypedia where he actually explains on what's going to happen if Yellowstone's volcano erupts and how it's going to be affecting planet Earth. You guys should definitely pay very close attention to this video because this is exactly what's happening right now. Exactly what happened to the entire world and the United States if the Yellowstone volcano erupted. Mm -hmm. Well, because of the absurd amount of magma underneath the giant volcano, everything within this area would initially be covered in lava. A giant wow. ash cloud would then cover the entire United States mm -hmm. before raining down across the landscape. This means that everything within this area would be covered with at least a couple feet of hot volcanic ash. This region, on the other hand, would have at least a couple inches of ash, with the regions beyond so likely just gonna experiencing keep ex a bit of dust in here and there. In terms of now, ashes. it's not just the United States that mm -hmm. will be severely affected by the blast. The entire world would also feel some of the effects. This mm -hmm. is because the volcano would also eject an absurd amount of sulfur aerosol. This would cause a lot of sunlight to reflect back into space. So this basically means that uh, there will be literally no sun at all in the United States because that's where the... Um, the particles are going to be much thicker and throughout the other parts of the earth they're going to face like um, not that much of an effect but still they're going to be facing massive effects because the whole particle thing it's going to be spreading towards entire earth so that's going to make a huge difference enough to the point where the entire earth would cool by at least 10 degrees Damn. for at least 10 years Damn. what Ten exactly years? would happen to the entire world and the united states if the Yellowstone volcano erupted. That's actually a long time, man. 10 years of like continuous freezing is just insane. That's just freaking insane. Honestly, guys, I think it's really important that, you know, the mainstream media should actually go ahead and start covering this information because something major is coming up and something really crazy is going on in Yellowstone. And I really wanted to go ahead and push this video out for you guys so that you should stay informed on what's going on. And the best part about it is that all of these things are already part of this amazing 
scripture right here you know all of these things are present in the scripture which is the best part and i think you should go in and give it a read and also like i spoke about the words from the job which actually says that we should look at the signs the animals are going to be showing during the end times and that's exactly what's happening and it seems like a massive volcano will indeed be erupting now we don't exactly know if or not on when it's going to happen but there seems like you know scientists have eventually said that there are some seismic activities that has just begun in yellowstone so it's going to be a massive threat indeed but then i don't want to be spreading some fear mongering you know stuff like that i just want to let people know that whatever is happening right now i think it's all in control of god at the end of the day there will definitely be a second coming and we have absolutely nothing to fear but then it's going to be a great show for us humans to just sit back and see the almighty god's work that's going to take place on our earth now of course it's going to cause a lot of destruction but then it's also all part of the god's plan so you just need to trust him and just enjoy this show now that being said if you guys would like to go ahead share this video with your friends family loved ones and basically let them know on what's going on in the world please feel free to go ahead share this video on facebook on instagram on whatsapp wherever you guys want just copy the link for the video paste it into all different places so that more people can get to know about all of this information more people can learn stuff about the scriptures and yeah the most important thing that i really request every single one of you guys to do is simply just go ahead drop a like on this video and also leave a comment down below in this video because that way the youtube algorithm it kind of just picks this video up and it basically thinks that the video is performing really good because the audience have liked it and they've also commented which means that we should basically push this video out to more people so that more people can get to watch this video and get to know about these informations and about the scriptures and basically who knows some people might actually end up getting their lives into the scriptures and get to know god and whatnot so your deeds are going to be making massive massive changes to someone's life so i really appreciate it if you guys could just go ahead drop a like a comment it goes a long way trust me lads and with that being said if you guys want to stay updated with all content like these every single day then make sure to go ahead subscribe to the channel it's absolutely free of cost on youtube that's the best part and also thank you guys so much for every single three hundred and thirty thousand of you guys that have subscribed to the channel thank you guys so much for being a massive part of this community and for bringing this community up so much and you guys have been a major part in order to get our messages and push it out in the world you're doing amazing in terms of supporting the content in terms of you know even sharing the content you guys are just crazy man so thank you guys so much subscribe for more every single day content and i will see you guys on the next one until then take it easy fams and goodbye